Hi folks, in today's video tutorial I am going to show you how to create mechanism constraint based on the another assembly and this is the question directly from you so let's have a look and I hope so that you will be satisfied with this simple example. The model has been downloaded from the grabcat.com and so thank you guys that you're sharing also your 3D models. And how we would like to modify this is simple import geometry and as you can see over here for example if I will select this component and select the definition this component is, is not connected so we are able to transfer it for example to the mechanism and if I will check the another model for example this one the, the cylinder if I will select the definition is fixed yeah so we would like to unfix and then change as mechanism so let's have a look one by one and if you agree we will start with this imported geometry so I will open it in the separate window select the model tree and use the right mouse button and simple investigation how it looks like the structure it's really no my model so I have to investigate and over here I see that this component is included as the subassembly so we would like to move up and down maybe spin so if I will select the definition we can see that now I am not able to move up and down because the structure in the model tree is the not so good. Yes, so what we need to do is that this component I would like to move on the bottom of the model tree because somewhere on the bottom we would like to have all components included. So now if the object is really at the bottom everything is before created and mounted and constrained. So if I will select the definition now we can have a look and move it away and simple use the connection type and for example as the cylinder because really we would like to use the cylinder and if you will have a look here it's axis alignment so you can choose the cylindrical surfaces surface the surface and the system will allow to use the up and down movement I will leave the open at this torque this spinning yeah because I'd like to show you that this mechanism can automatically spin as, as necessary. Maybe what we can do that we can set up maximum minimum value. So if we will select the transition axis, then we are able to select two surfaces and the system will automatically show me the exact number. So over here we can see, for example, that this one will be as the minimum or maximum. Yeah, you can say like this. So you can simply specify the current position and enable regeneration value and minimum maximum. For this example, you don't need it. Yeah. So you can simply leave it as it is and you don't need to specify the current position and the regeneration value. If you would like to see more, please check the cylinder um, tutorial and you will see and understand more preferences. So for now, simple really only surface to surface and finish. And if I will finalize it here, we can see that over here, this position is modified. Yeah. So if I would like to use the dragger, we can simple to select and move up and down or spin. That's OK. But we would like to also make the mechanism that this top assembly will be moved and also whole cylinder will be moved here yeah? because if you will move up and down the angle has to be changed so really it's connection and mechanism constraint between more assemblies so we will select the component the system will show me which assembly I have to update and make the placement so we can simply select the definition I will spin the model and now over here what do we need to do we have to specify these connections so now we will reuse the pin connection and as as you can see here the first connection is axis alignment so i can move it away a little bit and we can specify that cylindrical surface to cylindrical surface or axis to axis so now the axis is defined and now we have the one movement to the left to right what i'm using it's a control alt and right mouse button so i am able to move it to the left to right and if I will use the control alt and middle button, I can spin. Yeah, maybe you know, but it's only for information. Also, you are able to use the dragger, but if you don't use the dragger, you can spin off. Yeah, and then you can move control alt and right mouse button and middle button. 
fine. So transition, we would like to specify that this surface is connected over here. And again, based on the dimension, you can specify the distance and specify that it's a 0 0.5 millimeter or something like this. So it's up to you. Yeah, for now we can simply to leave. It is really uh, constrained to real zero. So for now, everything is connected. Connection definition is complete. So we are able to move up and down. Yeah, you can see here. And if I will finish OK, what we can see that now these screws are not connected properly. So if I will move with this assembly, the screw are not connected. And again, as I mentioned, it's an imported geometry. So if you would like to have a look here and this component will be founded. And if we will select the definition again, what we are able to do, we can specify new constraint. And now I will do not use the mechanism constraint, but cons con current constraints. Yeah. What does it mean? Really surface the surface and will be specified as needed. So if we will specify like this, it's fine. But what we can recognize that maybe the washer will be better to place as the first one and then directly to the washer connect uh, screw. So doesn't matter. You can cancel. You can select washer and select the definition. Yeah. One more time. I didn't select it from the model tree at the definition. And again, you can use the standard connections and specify the surfaces. If you would like to use the constraints like here, it's perfect. So you can see that is the standard constraints. Also, yeah, the first object is there. Another one we can specify it at the definition. And again, specify it and select surfaces. So surface to surface, we'd like to move it a little bit and make the distance to constraint zero. You can still see that I am using the control alt right mouse button, middle button to moving. Yes. So for me, it's much faster, like use the dragger. But also if you are a beginner, you can use the still dragger. And also the last but not least is the screw. So we will select the screw and the definition. And again, surface to surface, I think that would be better to select the surface from the washer. And if I would like to select the proper screw surface, I can move it away or you are able to open separate window and choose the surface from the separate window this is everything how you can do it. And also you can spin the model and specify the necessary distance and so on and so on. So if I did everything fine, we are able to finalize and finish last component. So select the definition, select surfaces, and also connected surfaces. Yep, distance, coincident, finish. So what does it mean? Now, if I will have a look in the model tree, the over here, you can see only the rectangle. Yeah, means that these components or assembly are set uh, and are not connected. So if I will select the definition, you see that is not placed. So what I can do, I can really fix this position because I do not know the proper value and the system will fix this position to default coordinate system. That's great. Then we are able to continue in the model tree and over here you will found the square with small dot. What does it mean? This component is mechanism. And if I will use the dragger, we can move. And now also these con connected objects are able to move with the predefined surface in the, in the model tree. You can have a look that this screw is really in the another sub assembly and also is with different icons over there is the small rectangle and small square means that this is fix it to mechanism constraint. Yes. So you can simply recognize based on the icon, how the object is connected. So what does it mean? This object is really connected, for example, to align it or mate to existing surfaces for mechanism. Okay. Let's continue. If I will go down over here also, we have the information. And if I will open it here on the bottom, we have the 
square or rectangle with small dot means it's a mechanism but over here we didn't specify the connector so we would like to really move left and right so if I will select the definition and we can see here that how the mechanism is working so this is mechanism inside of the assembly but we would like to use and move the whole assembly yeah? so if I will go here this whole assembly we would like to move based on this position so select the definition for the whole cylinder sir, cylinder assembly uh, the definition now you can see that this assembly is fixed simple delete fixed components you can move it away yeah and as before over here we would like to use the pin constraint simple you know that it's possible to select the cylindrical surface and then translation surfaces will be here you can leave it but as you can see what we need to achieve that this small surface will be connected also here we can try if the system will be able to automatically spin and rotate this cylinder inside based on this surface but you cannot use this connection tree what is defined but you have to for these assembly constraints use the new one and create a new set and for the new set the, it will be not specified as the pin because you don't need to specify the rotation the system will recognize so simply here we will use the cylinder and over here I like to select that this surface will be aligned with this surface now you can see that simple the system directly jump make the connection and connection definition complete so for this valve we have a two constraints connection pin specification on the bottom and then cylindrical cylinder connection between two surfaces if I will finish OK and now we would like to move you can choose what you would like to move yeah we can drag for these components and you can see that system is automatically working and also the mechanism yeah so that we have a really really good position and if you don't want to go outside because you know if I will make a really big angle this cylinder cylinder surface will go outside so yes of course then you are able to specify maximum and minimum value for this component yes yeah? so over here what I have specified we can say five minutes ago if I will specify the at the definition and translation axis over here you can specify maximum minimum value and then the system will not allow to move these top components to unwanted specified angle or also you can do it opposite you know that this object is specified with the edit definition and over there is the pin constraint and also you are able to specify the angle yes yeah? so if I will select the rotation axis and we will specify two surfaces the system will show me actual angle and you can choose and again specified zero position so for example our zeros position will be for example this minus 100 zero we will set zero and then you can specify minus 16 or plus 15 yes yeah, something like this so then you can use and specify minimum limit and maximum limit but much more information how to specify the maximum minimum I will show you in another tutorial because over there I directly get the question how to work with minus 190 or 220 if we will we are able to see here only minus 180 but let's continue with another tutorial over here in this example I really try to answer to your question how to make mechanism constraints between two or more assemblies and understand the information and visualization icon in the model tree. Thanks for your question. Stay tuned and bye bye. Vladimir.